in Christ's annual conference entitled First Things First. I'd like to welcome you. This is our second men in Christ. You may be seated. This is our second men in Christ. Just a quick history on our Men in Christ conference. The Lord gave me the vision uh, for this conference. It was back in, if my memory serves me correctly, it was back in 2017. The Lord gave me a vision about uh, this conference and Come on, give God another hand, come and praise. I am honored to have our friend, Pastor Gail Watson, the Neighborhood Bible Church in the house. I don't know about y'all, but you better be ready. You better be ready for this powerful man and woman of God. I bless God for you being here. First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Let me read again. We all read together this time from the heart and the old, old King James Version. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you.
found a savior. He's all those things and more. Anybody believe that? Come on, anybody really believe that, that he's everything? I don't know about you, but about I, I'm celebrating the name of the Lord because I'm right at a year when I had a massive heart attack. And the Lord came in and completely healed my body. I don't know, but I, I, I'm right at a year where I didn't have blood flowing through my body for two whole hours. Uh, uh, so, so he's everything to me. I'm right at a year where I ruptured my, 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 my widow maker artery. And they called it a widow maker because it makes you a widow. But God, but God. So he's everything. He's everything to me. He's everything to us. He's everything. And we're going to bless him. If you know the song, help us sing. Let's worship him. He's all those things and more. You are so much more. You everything. Say it.
Will you be ready? 
and worship him. Receive my worship. 
I know I may not be worthy, but receive my worship. I know I may be filthy and wrong, but hear my worship. I know I may not be just, but feel the image. Receive my worship. All of, all of, all of my worship. Come on and clap your hands and give them glory. Come on and clap your hands and give them glory. Clap your hands and give them glory. Come on, clap your hands and give them glory. Come on, give them your blessed praise. Give them your best praise. Give them your best praise. Come on, give them your best praise. Give them your best praise. Give it to him. Hallelujah. 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 Huh. Hallelujah. 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 You are hope. Oh, so hope. You are hope. You're all so hope. What a privilege and an honor to worship at you. To be called to your presence as your own. You are faithful. You're all so faithful. You are faithful. You're all so faithful. What a privilege and an honor to worship at your throne. To be called into your presence as your Lord. Help me say you are holy. You are holy. Oh. Come on, if he's done anything for you, let him know he's so holy. You are holy. Oh. Oh, so holy. What? Out of search, the mountain 
Come on, give God a hand cup of praise. Come on, give God a hand cup of praise. If you know that there's nobody like Jesus, come on, if you know that there's nobody like Jesus, I tried it my way, but it didn't work. I tried it my mother's way, but it didn't work. I tried it my father's way, but it didn't work. But when I looked to him, who's rich in mercy, when I looked to him, who's mighty in battle, when I looked to him, who can be my leading post, when I looked to him, who's the rock in the weary land, when I looked to him, that's when I find, I found my peace. I found my peace. Come on, give God another hand cup of praise. Give him a hand cup of praise. Everybody, let's give God another hand clap of praise. It's good to be here tonight. Look at somebody, put a big smile on your face and say, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. I ain't talking to nobody. Put a smile on your face. Amen. Tell them it's good to see you. We bless the Lord for this Friday night to gather in the house of the Lord on this men's night. Amen. 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 You know, we need, we need strong men in this hour. Amen. And so we thank God for... Uh, opportunities to come together and fellowship and to uh, be strengthened. Just to be in the presence of men who praise the Lord is strength all in itself. Amen. All right. And so we bless the Lord for the men in the house. Bless the Lord for the sisters. Without sisters, we couldn't have church, y'all. So <laughs> we could, but it ain't the same. So we're not crazy. So we honor everybody that is here with us tonight. We honor those that are watching on our live stream, those that are going to watch on the replay. Let's clap our hands for them as well. Amen. Uh, those that wanted to be here but couldn't. Amen. Uh, Lord knows. And so uh, God has who, he, who needs to be here tonight for the word who, uh, that he has for us. And so we are in great expectation. Uh, we, we love uh, the Neighborhood Bible Church, y'all. And so we told y'all God was... was putting together a, a, a good friendship and, and a fellowship. And so uh, we can see it, right? We, we, we're with each other, and so we're supporting each other. And, and this is what it's all about. Amen. you got to have partners in this season. you got to have people that's praying with you and pulling for you. All right? got to have people who, who see you down, and, see, and, and they, they're, they're not gossiping about you. They're praying for you. Right, and they're they're walking alongside of uh, each other, and so this is what we need in the kingdom, right? In the in the com in the kingdom, there's no competition, all uh, right, all uh, right. God God knows how to make room in the kingdom for every gift, all right. Our gift will make room for us, and so the kingdom, Amen, uh, is very powerful. So we thank God for that. Here's what we want to do really quickly, uh, because I don't want to do this at the end and. Y'all know how we do. We don't pump or prime. We don't beg. If you want to be blessed, amen, you'll be a blessing. All right? And so we want to do this really quick, really quickly. Hallelujah. So if I did coming up, look at our dick. He looks sharp, y'all. Look. I'll be on it. Pastor Watson, you know, you know, it's a testimony. Is this brother, first guy saved, come to church with, with some J's on and some shorts, his do-rag. Amen. Filled with the Holy Ghost, right? And, but, but he came to church, and, and we didn't mess with him, right? We let him wear, he wore his do-rag and his, his, his Jordans and his shorts, and we just kept ministering the word to him. Ministering the word, amen. And slowly and slowly he began to get a hold of God's word, and amen. Then he started putting on polos. Polos and jeans and some, and some, uh, some docker shoes or whatever them shoes were, amen. And and, and as God continued to grow him up, God, this is something because we're raising up leaders in, in the kingdom, amen. So he's, this is a testimony standing before you here, all right? We all got testimonies and, and past, and God's just been growing him up. And um, look, you up here, I got the mic, so I'm just going to testify about you. Is that all right? Look, <laughs> he like, man, he got me on the spot. 
but, but this is something, just the, how brothers, when you get in the presence of other brothers and other men who love God, and so our, our bait was the basketball court, I told you, we, he, his wife got saved, and then we wrote them in on the court, hey, come hoop with us, all right, well, we got done hooping, well, come on and pray with us, and, and amen, and before you knew it, he was at the altar, and before you knew it, he went down in Jesus' name, and before you knew it, God filled him with the Holy Ghost, amen, and he's been growing. And, and this year, amen, he's going to get ordained as a, as a deacon, amen. He's going to get ordained in our, in our nationals, all right? And so we got to raise up our own, all right? Raise up our own. And so he's been, you know, Bible says lay hands with no man suddenly, right? No man quickly. And so he's been showing himself faithful and serving and, and, and doing the Lord's work and behind the scenes, Right, and so we appreciate what God is doing in his life among other men, but right now he up front. He up front, right? And so <laughs> got his suit on and looking nice. And uh, and so it, it's a men's conference, right? So we ought to celebrate brothers, right? We ought to celebrate men. And so we thank God for our, our, our brotherhood chairman over here. We call him Elder, right? And so this is Elder. Elder Nehemiah Walter. And so he puts a lot of time and energy and uh, into our brothers and uh, I mean praying and laboring and fasting and, and serving and so I give I give honor where honor is due and so I, I appreciate him he's a great support amen to our men's ministry and I'm telling you every brother that connects that they grow it's just what it is right uh, because God, God's word grows us and so we, we, we thank God for him we thank God for this service and so as we go ahead and stand to our feet, I know I took up a little bit of time, but it's, it's the brotherhood, amen, all right? We always celebrate, uh, you know, everything else. Let's celebrate men. Let's celebrate men tonight. And so, um, again, we're not going to pump our prime. We're not going to beg, um, but, you know, we're going to ask that we all partner and support this conference, amen, so that we can... Do what God called us to do tomorrow. We're not having workshops and none of that stuff. We're going right out into the neighborhood. Amen. And we're going to set up shop and, and we're going to have some outreach. And we talk, Elder now, they talk to the, uh, to the people, the, the management in, the, in, in those apartments. And they were beyond excited that we are coming through there. I saw, I read that email and I'm like, wow, they are overly excited. It was like, yeah, we'll email it out. We'll post stuff. They, they act like they're part of our church. They are right they about to be right and so and so they're letting us get in there and we're going to continue to set up shop in there last time we went in there three people got filled with the holy ghost amen and so we're looking for God to continue to do more things now that management is behind us right and so and so we're going to really get in there and serve and so all of your seeds and everything that we we give to support the work of the ministry is for souls all right and so we bless the lord for you all um Again, 95% of us give online. <laughs> I don't know about your church, but, you know, it's the, it's the digital age, right? And so our basket, it be looking pretty slim sometime, right? Except the kids, right? The kids, they give their offerings, but everyone else pretty much gives online. So if you're going to give online, you can see it on, on our live stream. Uh, Cash App, that is dollar sign, circle of hope, FLC. If you're going to give, give LaFly our Zelle, that is uh, circle of hope, FLC at gmail.com. And so appreciate you all uh, as you give. Uh, I'm going to let our D go ahead and bless this offering as you come around. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just thank you for the day, Lord God. We just thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to come in your house, Lord God, Lord God, and worship you, Lord God. We just thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing, Lord God, what you're doing, and what you will do, Lord God. You know that you are able to do all things. Baby's giving.
many really know that God is our all in all? You really know. Hallelujah. So stand to your feet and help us worship him on today. He's a good God. He's a mighty God. He's able, and I thank you for all the things he has done and all the things he did for God is the joy in the strength of my life. He moves all the pain, misery, and strife. Promise to keep me, never to leave me. He never, ever comes short of his work. I got to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. Keep my life clean every day. Want to go with him when he comes back. Never want to look back. God is. Oh, God is. God is. God is. God is a God. Say, say, God is the God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves on us. He moves all pain, misery. He promised never, never to leave me. He never ever showed up his I got to fast. Stay in the narrow way. Keep my life clean. I want to go. I want to go with him. Come on, see when he comes back, I come too far and I'll never turn. God is. God is. God is. God is. One more time. Let's say it one more time. God is the joy. God, God is, is the joy. Come on, church. He moves on. He moves on. He promised. He promised to keep. Never. Never to leave. He never. He never ever come. Sure I got to pass. Come on. I come too far and I never turn. God is. Come on. What is God to you? God is. God is. God is. God is my own. All in all, we might as well bless him. Yeah. My all in all, my all in all, my all in all, my all in all. Help me say. My
gonna feed you all in all. Bless. Come on, clap your hands. Hey. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Hey. Come on, do your dance. Come on, do your dance. Come on, do your dance. Come on, do. Come on. Come on, leave for joy. Come on, leave for joy. Come on, leave for joy. Oh, my all in all, my all in all, my 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 Here's your joy. Here's your healing. Hey. Your deliverer. My all in all. Hey. My all in all. Your all in all. Your all in all. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. Don't give up. Don't give in. My all in all. My all in all. My all. Come on, clap those hands. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hey! Bless him like he's mighty. 
Bless him like he's holy. Bless him like he's a deliverer. Bless him like he's a promise keeper. Bless him like he's a promise keeper. A way maker. Lion of Judah. Great I am. Prince of peace. Way, way maker. Way, way maker. Way maker. He's a way maker. He's a way maker. He is a way maker. He is a way maker. Even when I can't see it, you're working. Even when I can't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop. He never stops. He never stops. He never stops. Everybody, rest to your feet. Rest to your feet. Rest to your feet. As the man to us. Rest. 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 Your rest is coming. Your rest is on the way. Your rest is on the way. As you rest on your feet, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Come on, give God a hand, come and pray. And Pastor Gail Watson, come in his own way. Come on, give God glory in the house. I say, give God glory in the house. Come on, come on. Come on, give God glory in the house. Come on. Come on, give God glory. Isn't God worthy? Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, I want you to lift up another praise unto the Lord. Come on. Come on, lift up another praise unto the Lord. Come on. Come on, lift up another praise unto the Lord. Come on. Come on, lift up another praise unto him. Come on. The Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you're worthy, Lord. You're great, God. You're, you're wonderful. There is none like you, Lord. Lord, we love you. We adore you. We magnify you. We lift you up. We exalt you. Yes, God, move in the room right now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we came here for Jesus. I said we came here for Jesus. Go with it, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't he wonderful? I said, isn't he wonderful? I said, isn't he wonderful? Oh, God, there is none like him. Oh, God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands one more time before the Lord. Now, that was patty cake, and I said, clap your hands, oh ye people. And while you clap your hands, shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Come on, I said, while you clap your hands, open up your mouth, and now shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You may be seeing the presence of the Lord. Amen. You may be seeing the presence of the Lord. Um, you may be seeing the presence of the Lord. Amen. We are certainly glad to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Just one more time. Amen. Like uh, our friend and brother, amen, Pastor Miller's already said, amen. Uh, this is a, a God, amen, connection. I'm going to share a couple things, amen, before I minister tonight, amen. Uh, uh, Sister Kim, y'all owe us a new church. Y'all owe us a new church. Y'all owe us a new church because Pastor Miller and all of you wonderful people came and wrecked it during a revival. <laughs> Glory to God. We just, y'all owe us a new church. So just put that, 
As y'all raising your funds for the building fund, make sure y'all set us a portion aside so we can go ahead and get us a new church. Amen. Because y'all completely wrecked it. I'm going to tell y'all just a little bit more. I'm going to tell y'all something here. Amen. Uh, I don't know if Pastor, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if Pastor Miller has shared it with you all. Amen. But ever since uh, the revival, amen, there has not been a weekend that we have not seen new faces in the building. I must be in the wrong church. I must be in the wrong church. Glory to God. I'm not not shot. I mean, not one Sunday has passed. Not one Sunday. It's just a coincidence, you know. And so on Sunday, amen, glory to God, this past Sunday, we had a gentleman come in, amen, glory to God. Uh, well, I'm going to go back, amen. There was, amen, uh, after the revival, we had this uh, this uh, 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 young lady, amen, uh, uh, Sister Judy, amen. She came and started coming, amen, into our church, amen, saved, sanctified, filled the Holy Ghost, Amen. She came. She was called Caucasian. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I told my wife, I said, babe, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I said, we're about to see an influx, amen, of, all, of, of diversity, amen, in our church. Glory to God. And I'm going to tell you what happened. Glory to God. Amen. Last Sunday, we seen a gentleman. He walked in. Glory to God. Named Dylan. Dylan came into church. And I was like, okay, you know, thank God for Dylan. You know, and we begin to pray for Dylan, uh, Elder Nehemiah, amen. And Dylan said this. He said, I was coming last week, amen, but, 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 but something just didn't allow me to come. But I'm here this week, and I'm ready to go down in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He was already ready. I said, he was already ready. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, 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 and we thank the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We had more families come. Amen. I don't have time to tell you all the stories. Got another uh, uh, inbox today. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, uh, a young lady, she said, me and my daughter, we're going to be there on Sunday. Glory to God. I'm telling you, God is a good God. See, when you hook up with the right people at the right time. Glory to God. And we're certainly glad. We're certainly glad, amen. So y'all can't tell me nothing. So don't try to act like y'all know me in the streets because I, I, I am a Circle of Hope member. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever y'all go, I'm right behind there with you. Glory to God. And we are certainly glad, amen, to be with you all. Amen. Glory to God. Be with my brother. Amen. Glory to God. Pastor Miller, his wonderful wife. Amen. Amen. Sister Miller, we're certainly glad to be with you all. And I'm going to tell you something. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you something, Elder Nehemiah. I want you to stand. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, you prayed for my grandmother. You prayed for my grandmother, and you spoke a word to her, and you told her that she will have a long life. Glory to God. And, and you don't know this, amen, but uh, uh, the enemy tried to attack her body. Glory to God. She was in a hospital for eight days. And as long as I knew my grandmother, she ain't never been in a hospital. Glory to God. Amen. And she was in a hospital for eight days. And she told me to tell you, glory to God, that ever since that you gave that word, she knew the enemy was coming. But she received the word of the Lord. Oh, shout out my name, my child. See, you got to learn how to put the word back in the devil faith. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when the Lord said long life, I don't care what it looked like. I got a word that said long. I thought I was in circle of hope tonight. Yeah, yeah. 
if the word go forth, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, just believe the word. Believe the word. Glory to God. Amen. And me and you go go over there. Amen. When you got some time, amen, we're going to go pray for her. Amen. She actually said, you get elder. Amen. She didn't know you by name. I said, Elder Nehemiah, I want to. She said, yes, get him. Glory to God. And he come over to the house and he go pray. Glory to God. Because you got to know how to shut the devil up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we are so thankful. Amen. For all of you. Amen. Who helped us out doing our revival. Our church is a better church because of you all. Amen. Glory to God. Our church is a better church because of you all. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm, I was kind of upset. I'm not going to lie. Amen. I just found out today that you're going to be preaching at the convention. Glory to God. And I was trying to get him, glory to God, for our youth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm going to have to pull on you, so I'm going to let you know now. Glory to God. You may be pulling double duty that weekend. Glory to God. Amen. Because I'm telling you, wherever circle of hope goes, it's going to be a move of God. Amen. And we are certainly glad. Amen. You have a wonderful pastor. Amen. A wonderful pastor. You have wonderful leaders at this church. Wonderful leaders. I'm going to tell you all that. I'm going to get to the word. I promise. Amen. When we were, me and my wife, we were, amen, that on that Monday, amen, after, after Sunday night, amen, amen, pastor, amen, he couldn't preach, amen, the glory of God was just in the room, amen, and me and my wife, we were talking, and we were saying, man, should we do it, you know, should we not, you know, we was kind of, you know, kind of conflicted, you know, people go show up, and different things of that nature. We said, you know what, let's, let, let, let's see. I take Pastor Miller. He didn't even think about it. Glory, it, 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 it didn't even come across his mind uh, not to do it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the power of God just moved on that Monday night. Amen. And I'm going to give y'all heads up, Circle Hope. We're going to run that revival back. Glory. I'm going to the wrong church. You know we on the corporate. We're going to run this back. We're going we to run the revival back again. Glory to God. So get ready for it. Revival go hit the east side and can be. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. Amen. We are certainly glad, amen, just to be here one more time. I think they have my brother, my friend, amen, Elder Miller. Let's give God praise for him. Amen. Glory to God. We thank the Lord, amen, for him. And I'm sorry that more of us from the neighborhood Bible Church is not here tonight. Amen. Glory to God. But I got my little buddy here with, with us, amen, my son. Amen. If you know, you know, I got five girls, amen, glory to God. Amen. So I said, well, come on out to the men's conference. He said, Daddy, what we going to do at the men's conference? Well, men going to be there. Glory to God. Amen. So glad to have my, uh, him, my son, and my beautiful wife. Let's give God praise for her. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And Sister Amanda and all her beautiful children. Amen. Thank God for them. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we're going to, uh, several of us going to be here tomorrow. Amen. For outreaching. Amen. Because we want to see the hand of God move. Amen. In a very special way. But to the word of the Lord here, James chapter 5, James chapter 5. Y'all go help me preach tonight. Amen. Amen. James chapter 5, verses 16 and 17. James chapter 5, verses 16 and 17. Verses 16 and 17. Stand with me for the honor of the word of the Lord here tonight. James chapter 5, verses 16 and 17. Amen. If you have that, can you say amen? The word of the Lord declares, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man everybody shout a righteous man availeth much Elijah and was a man subject to like passions as we are and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months verse 18 Brethren, I mean, sorry, and he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Amen. I want to preach to you tonight from this word, the priority, the posture, and the power of a praying man. The priority, the posture, and the power 
of a praying man. Put your Bibles down. Lift your hands up everywhere. Lord, we came here on a Friday night. Not because we didn't have nothing else to do, but we came here to hear from you. So, Lord, we asking you to, to let flesh be silent and let the spirit speak. Move in this house, Lord, only like you can. We need to hear from you. God, I pray that every man here, God, that has been under attack, every affliction, every frustration, God, I pray that you will meet his need this weekend. God, I pray that every man, that as he leaves here, he will be better than he came in. Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do right now. Bless your word. God, bless your servant. Bless the hearers of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everyone say amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The priority, the posture, and the power of a praying man. My brothers and sisters, tonight I have a responsibility and a mandate to free you all, amen, from superficial, from the superficial concept of what the world defines what a man should be. After tonight, you will no longer fall victim to trying to compete, amen, with the false agenda set by demonic forces of this world, and you will be free to operate in your God-given assignment and flourish the way that God has always intended for you to flourish. Brothers and sisters here, Jesus here in Luke chapter 12, Jesus shares so vividly, amen, with us about what, what to do with our thoughts about our life. Jesus says here, he said, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. Now at face value, it would seem that Jesus does not want us to care about our life. But if we look a little closer here in Luke 22, amen, Luke 22 through 31, write this down if you're taking notes, it is a response, amen, to Luke 12, amen, 13 through 21. The problem was that a man came to Jesus and asked Jesus to speak with his brother to tell him that he needed to divide his inheritance with him. And Jesus said, well, don't put me in the middle of this mess. He said, I'm not, I'm not concerned. Amen. About whether you get to have the inheritance or not. But what I need you to understand is this I thing called covetedness. If your desires remain the same, ma'am, uh, 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 your heart will be gripped by covetedness. And what seems sincere at first will change into a spirit that will overcome you. Jesus is saying, listen here. I don't want you to be concerned with wealth because life is more than an abundance of things which one possesses. He said, the reason why you're so discomfited with your current situation, hear me, church, it is not because, amen, you married the wrong person. It is not because you did not finish school. It is not because you didn't get the props you deserve. The reason why some of us are so frustrated in this moment because we have a perverted view of success. Amen. You thought, amen, success was going to be the things that you acquire. And when you acquire those things, those things will make you happier. Amen. Hear me. But Jesus is saying, while you are worried about trying to gain an abundance in life, amen, God is saying that I'm trying to give you abundant life. I'm going to say that one more time. Hear me. He said, while you are worried, trying to gain an abundance in life, I am trying to give you abundant life. He said, I have doors for you. I have pastures for you. Amen. Glory to God. And the only thing that you have to do to receive those things is to hear my voice and enter in. Hear me. But Jesus is saying that our desires can quickly get Blind, uh, blind us for what God has uh, in store for us. Hear me, church. When we desire to seek the things of the world more than we desire to seek the things of God, we will fall into temptation and we will be trapped by foolishness and hurtful desires just to drown in destruction and perdition. But look at somebody here tonight and say, neighbor, 
Don't drown in your desires. Come on. Amen. Don't drown in your desires. Those things that you long for. Those, those things that you desire. Those things that, that you feel like you need. Don't drown in those desires here. Furthermore, Jesus begins to share a story about a man in abundance. The scriptures called him a rich man who brought forth plentiful. Amen. The rich man, he had so much, amen, Elder, that glory to God, that he had nowhere to store his harvest. Amen. He had so much that he had nowhere to store his harvest. The scripture declares, amen, glory to God, that he, what he decided to do was, he decided, amen, to tear, I'm glad we got construction zone going on, amen, glory to God, he decided to tear down his barns, amen, and build bigger barns. Glory to God. Hear me? He decided to tear down the current barns, amen, and to build a bigger barns. Hear me? Glory to God. And glory to God. Amen. So he can store all his goods. And after he got done building, amen, glory to God, amen, he said to himself, because now I am done building my barns, now I can sit back and relax because I have enough wealth to take care of myself for the rest of these years. Hear me. Amen. But the Lord spoke to him. The Lord said, you fool, because you could die tonight. And all what you have done with these earthly possessions that you have accumulated, they would just be here and they will corrupt. Glory to God. Hear me. Amen. My brothers and sisters, but, but my brothers, hear me. I, I know that we worked for years to, to try to store up our 401k. I, I know that we worked for years trying to invest in the proper things, but, but I just came with a small warning tonight, glory to God, that do not be so focused on those things and you miss God. God, hear me, hear me, hear me. Jesus is trying to seize his attention. Uh, and he is saying, son, uh, amen, you have subjected yourself to being earthly famous. Glory to God. Amen, hear me. You think your value uh, is what you've gathered in, my friend. Uh, but he said, no, uh, you are putting your treasures in a system uh, and in a place that is not secure. Uh, but Jesus is saying that if you focus on the temporal things, uh, amen, glory to God, that's all you will have is temporary. Uh, but I'm trying to shift your focus, amen, glory to God, on things that would get you into eternity. Amen. So the rich man, hear me. Uh, hear me. The rich man thought, glory to God, amen, that his wealth almost made him immortal. Yes, he thought that his wealth, amen, made him untouchable. He he thought his wealth made him important. But can I suggest tonight uh, that he may have thought his wealth had made him even righteous? Uh, but I uh, but because I want you to hear his tone, uh, I want you to hear his voice here in Luke 12. Uh, he began to say, My fruits and, and my bonds. And, and I'm doing it for my he ain't worried about nobody else. Glory to God. Uh, amen. He said, I'm doing it for my you better be careful. For, uh, when you're so worried about you uh, and you forget about everything else. Uh, I'm going to tell you what the Bible declares that a good man, uh, he leaves an inheritance for his children. Glory to God. Uh, and can I tell you why you are building all these things? Uh, can I tell you what the scripture declares uh, that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous? Glory to God. So while you put it all in, boy, I'm just waiting to get my check. Glory to God. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. And we have to be careful people of God that we're not so focused on monetary things and we forget about eternity. Hear me, God is saying, hear me, God is saying, he said, I have something greater for you. I have something better for you. And so then here, turn to Luke 12, here Jesus then turned to his disciples and said, here, listen to me. He says, therefore, I say unto you, Take no thought for your life. He admonishes the disciples by giving them an example. And he's declaring, hear me, that this is not where your priority should be. God is saying to us men today, let me be God. Yeah. Hear me. We block.
what revelation when we do not release the reins of our life? I'm going to say that one more time. We block the revelation of God when we do not release the reins of our life. Jesus began to share with them that, 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 that about providing and, and I can just imagine Jesus saying that, that I know you heard about Jehovah Jireh, but I'm trying to reveal to you that I am Jehovah Jireh. Glory God is saying that, that I am not just a provider, but I am your provider. Hear me? Because you keep trying to put your hands on it. Amen. Glory. You are suggesting to God that he is not able when you try to put your hands on it, uh, you are suggesting to God that he's not capable. Uh, do you not know the God in whom you serve? Uh, do you know that he is well able? Uh, the God that you serve, that he's been tried, uh, he has been tested, uh, and he has been proven. Uh, see, and that's why when we come to the house of the Lord, uh, I don't have to be afraid about giving it to the house of the Lord. Uh, and glory to God, because Malachi tells us, uh, he said, bring your tithes to the storehouse uh, that there may be meat in my house uh, and prove me now therewith, uh, saith the Lord of hosts, uh, if I will not open up the windows of heaven uh, and pour you out a blessing uh, that there shall be no room to receive. Uh, see, I know you trust, amen, in Charles Swab, uh, and I know you trust in your 401k, uh, but if you really want to store up some kingdom wealth, uh, baby, you better learn to give it to the house of the Lord. Uh, you better learn, amen, to sow in the house of the Lord, uh, because if I sow unto him, I will reap. they do not sow nor do they reap they do not have barns to store their fruit in but yet God feeds them are you not much more than the fowls of the air he said number six I want you to consider whether it be possible by merely thinking or worrying that you can add a moment to your life and Jesus is saying that that if worrying doesn't accomplish anything, why worry? The third thing Jesus asked them to consider, he said, I want you to consider the lilies of the field and how they grow and glory to God and, 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 and how they do not work and they do not make their own clothing and even Solomon, glory to God, as wonderful and glorious as he was, he couldn't compare to the beautiful lilies so if God cares for them and they, they are here today and thrown in the fire tomorrow, amen, he will certainly care for you. Hear me, brothers and sisters. He shares with his disciples. He said, I don't want you to be concerned with what's going, what you're going to eat and what you're going to drink. I don't want those things to be on your mind. Glory to God. Jesus is saying that, that people who are concerned with those things, amen, those type of people are are unbelievers hear me but he said but i rather for you to seek ye first the kingdom of god uh, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He said, I, I rather for you, amen, to seek ye first, amen, the kingdom of God. Hear me. My first point tonight, amen, hear me. That is that a praying, amen, man, glory to God. Uh, number one, you must first submit yourself uh, and you must seek the kingdom of God. Uh, everybody shall submit myself. Y'all quiet. I know we don't like submitting. Everybody shall submit myself. Glory to God, hear me. Amen, Jesus. He teaches us about submission. Now, see, a lot of times we think submission, Brother Amari, we think submission, submission makes us weaker. We think submission, amen, makes us less than. But no, my friend, no, my brother, when you submit unto the Lord, amen, it's actually making you greater. When you submit unto the Lord, it's actually making you wiser. Now, when you submit unto the 
Lord. It's actually making you better. Well, what are you seeing in the preacher? The disciples asked Jesus, who was the greatest amen among amen us. Amen. He said, the one glory, who serves. In other words, the one who will submit himself. Brothers and sisters here in the circle of hope, you must first learn to submit yourself. And then I our priority uh, is to seek the kingdom of God. Uh, hear me, this word seek is, is a critical word uh, because seek is a divine tool uh, that we use, amen, to go after what is before us. Uh, this word seek, uh, it means desire. Uh, it means endeavor. Uh, it means to inquire. Uh, glory to God. Uh, amen. We are seeking in order to find. Uh, amen. We're aiming at something. Huh? We're striving for something. Huh? It's something that we crave. Huh? It's something that our soul demands. Hear me. Huh? Amen. Matthew huh? and Luke give us the tool huh? that we need to seek the kingdom. Huh? Oh, glory to God. Huh? But he said not to seek the kingdom, huh? but you need to seek ye first the kingdom of God. Huh? Hear me. Huh? He began to say first, huh? not because there's other things afterwards. Huh? He said first first uh, because that is the priority uh, uh, amen sisters and brothers uh, amen I am terrified of the modern day church today uh, because we have preachers who not praying uh, oh glory to God uh, we have worship leaders who's not praying uh, we got deacons who ain't praying uh, amen glory to God we have people who not praying uh, and you thought that it was just good enough to come to I'm glad you're here tonight uh, but if we we do not pray. What are we here for? How in the world can you survive in this world that we live in when you do not pray? Lift your voice and open up your mouth and say, I gotta pray. Hear me. Hear me, glory to God. Amen. Philippians 4 and 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and by supplication. Well, Pastor Gail, what should I pray for? Everything. Amen. Pastor, what are you talking about? Everything. Should I pray for what I'm going to wear? Yes. Should I pray for what I'm going to eat? Yes. Should I pray for what I'm going to go during the day? Yes. Amen. In, in everything, uh, oh God, am I shy, uh, by prayer and by supplication, uh, amen, glory to God, uh, let your request be made known to God, uh, hear me, uh, so the priority of a praying man, uh, that you must submit, uh, and you must seek, write that down, uh, that you must submit, uh, and you must seek, hear me, uh, it takes a strong man, Pastor Miller, uh, to submit himself, uh, it takes a courageous man, uh, to submit himself. It takes a great man to submit himself. Paul writes to his son Timothy and he said, Men, amen, you should always be praying in every area of your life. You should always pray. Why should I always pray? Because prayer gives me direction. Amen. Prayer gives me confidence. Prayer gives me boldness. Prayer gives me strength. I know glory to God. See, I know uh, that we think uh, glory to God doing the things of the world uh, makes us better. But if I can find a praying man, uh, I will find a strong man. Uh, if I can find a praying man, uh, I will find a wise man. Uh, if I find a praying man, glory to God, uh, I will find a man uh, that can change the world. If men are too dominant, then they say we're traditional. If we're too nurturing, then they say we're weak. So we are conflicted, hear me, on how we should operate. Come on. But can I tell you that even in this ever-changing world, that prayer, it must be our posture. 
Hear me. Jesus, he made prayer the central part of his life. Glory to God. Mark 1 and 35 declares that in the morning, rising up a great while before the day, amen, he went out to part into the solitary place, and there he prayed. Oh, God, I know we got to go to work early in the morning. I know sometimes we got to stay up late, but we got to make time for prayer. Oh, God, glory to God. The scripture declared that Jesus, he got up before everybody else got up, and he found a quiet a place to pray. Oh, can I tell you, oh God, prayer, it won't get you on the biggest stages. No, ma'am, no, sir. Prayer, it won't get your name in light. But can I tell you what prayer will do? Prayer will get your name in the Lamb books of life. Prayer will keep your children from killing themselves. Prayer will keep you on your job. Prayer will keep you in your right mind. Oh, God, I'm Prayer will keep you when everything else fails. Come on. My God. Glory to God. Our first priority, we must commit ourselves to a prayer life. Yeah. 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 Hear me. I know some of y'all about to get famous on me. Jesus, he was famous in Luke 5, 15. But so much more the more when there a fame abroad him and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed of him of their infirmities, but he withdrew himself. should see you praying. Your wives your ch should see you praying. Your children should see you praying. Your community, they should see you praying. But we live in a community, we live in a world where no one wants to stand up and pray anymore. You know why? Now, you put on a praise break. That's popular. You put on a concert. If I tell you tonight, Pastor Miller, if you told them Top Tripper was going to be here tonight, you wouldn't have had no more room. They would have called the fire marshal. You know why? Glory to God. Amen. Because people, amen, are looking to be entertained, but they're not looking to be changed. Glory to God. Hear me. And men, sometimes we get things out of order. Let's be honest. We, 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 we mess up some things. But that is because we do not prioritize prayer. Hear me. First Timothy 2 and 8, he said, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Hear me, Paul. Amen. He is he he speaks of his son. And he's telling his son that, that you need to stay in this posture. What is the posture? The posture is lifting up holy hands. Right. Every man in the building, lift up your hands. My God. Lift up your hands. Every man, lift up your hands. Glory to God. Your hands. We're not made to wrath. Glory to God. Your hands were not made, amen, glory to God, amen, glory to God, to, to, to hurt, glory to God. But your hands were made holy by God. And put your hands down. Glory to God. Hear me. Your hands, amen, were made to be clean. Glory to God. The scripture declares over in Exodus, amen, chapter 30, glory to God, that when the priest entered into the temple, the scripture declared that they must have holy hands. Their hands must be clean. I wish it was only men tonight. I'll get into some stuff. But uh, men, 
we got to keep our hands clean. Glory to God. I wish I could. We, 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 we got to keep our hands clean. Glory to God. Oh, God damn man, shy. We gotta, we gotta keep our hands clean. We, 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 we gotta stay off, amen, the filthy things. Glory to God, hear me. I know, glory to God, help me, Holy Ghost. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know they got only fans, but, 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 but we gotta keep our hands clean. Uh, glory to God, I, I, I know there's so much things out there just on this little device, but, but we gotta keep our hands clean. I wish I had time tonight. Hear me. Hear me. Our posture as men. Glory to God. Hear me. We got to keep our hands lifted up. When we pray and talk to the Lord, our hands must be lifted up. I know that we got to, and I'm not knocking y'all ladies. I appreciate all the ladies tonight. But can I tell you, we need more men leading in prayer. Glory to God. We, 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 we need more men like Elder Nehemiah leading the worship. Why? Glory to God. Because it doesn't show that you're weak. It doesn't show, amen, Lord, that you're feminine. No, glory to God. It shows that you are a priest. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. And you are able to declare the word over the household. But we lift our hands. Hear me. Glory to God. In purity. We lift our hands without doubting. Everybody shout, set the tone. Set the tone. Set the tone. Set, everybody shout, set the, set the tone. As men, we, 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 we set the tone for our life. We, we, we set the tone for our families. We, we set the tone for our churches. But if we don't set the tone, who will? I got I to gotta get out of here. Glory to God. But here in James chapter 5, as I'm on my way to my seat tonight. James chapter 5, verse 17, we are, amen, we, 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 we come to a man by the name, amen, of Elijah. Glory to God, amen. The scripture declared that, that this man, he was subjected to like passions as we are. What are you saying, preacher, that, that he had those same cravings that you got? Y'all ain't said nothing here tonight. Amen. He, he had those same needs. That, 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 that you had tonight, glory to God. Huh? Oh, good first Kings, amen, chapter 17, glory to God. Amen. He he had those same things that was on your heart, on your mind, glory that plagued you in the midnight hour. Glory to God. Amen. Glory. And the scripture declares, glory to God, amen. Amen. But it was just man, glory to God. He did something so dramatic. He did something so crazy. The scripture declared that he prayed earnestly. Uh, everybody shout prayed earnestly uh, he prayed earnestly what did he pray for uh, he prayed that it might not rain uh, well you gotta understand what was going on uh, amen it was two wicked people uh, glory to God it was king amen Ahab uh, amen this king Ahab uh, oh glory to God uh, amen he thought himself to be something uh, oh God Ahab thought he was good. But Ahab had a wicked heart because he had a wicked wife. And what Ahab, what Elijah was doing, glory to God. Amen. He was speaking against, amen, the spirits of the world. He was beginning to speak against, amen, amen, the spirits in the area. And he began to say, he prayed that it might not rain. Uh, and the scripture declares that it did not rain. Uh, I want to tell you uh, that when you pray uh, you will begin to have power with God. Uh, when you you pray. Oh God, I'm on fire. The strength of God, it will get on your side. When you pray, amen, God himself, amen, he will fight for you. And Elijah began to pray. And the scripture declares that Elijah began to pray. And he prayed. He prayed so much that it did not rain. That it did not rain for Three years uh, and six months. Uh, hear me, me, 
uh, of circle of hope. Uh, I just came to tell you tonight uh, that whenever you learn uh, to submit yourself, uh, to prioritize, uh, amen, to posture uh, yourself, uh, the Lord is going to give you a power uh, that will cause the rain to stop. Uh, the Lord will give you the strength uh, to speak to the mountain uh, when you learn how to pray. Uh, nothing will come in your way. Uh, can you have found somebody here tonight uh, and say, neighbor, uh, keep on praying. Uh, uh, keep on believing. Uh, because when you pray, uh, demons will begin to tremble. Uh, when you pray, uh, the backslider will come home. Uh, when you pray, uh, healing will take place. Uh, when you pray, uh, minds will be regulated. Uh, when you pray, uh, bodies will be healed. Uh, so hold on, man. Uh, hold on, church. Uh, don't give up now. Uh, don't let go now. Uh, it's your hour. Uh, it's your season. Uh, just hold on. Uh, God will uh, step on your side. Stay with me, I'm done. Jesus wanted to make sure that we prioritize prayer in our life. <laughs> Glory to God. that we do, every place we go, every word we speak, we always have to be led by the spirit of prayer. We will see the hand of God and God will release things unto us when we learn how to seek him. It takes a mission. Prayer has a posture. And when you pray, I promise you, you will get a power that you've never had before. I want every man to come forth tonight. I want every man to come forth tonight. on this first night of this conference I want us to recommit our prayer life to the Lord I want you to make a vow to the Lord that you will prioritize prayer above every single thing in your life come on come on lift your hands Glory to God. Come on, I want you to begin to open up your mouth. Come on. Come on, I want you to begin to open up your mouth. Come on. Come on, and tell the Lord that I will prioritize pray. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, ladies everywhere. Now I want you to begin to lift your hands, women everywhere. Glory to God. Oh, God, I'm on child. That you will push that man. Oh, God, I'm on child. Oh, God, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. 
We're going to be the first at the church. Come on, come on. Come on, we're going to be the first at the prayer meetings. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make that confession. Come on. Make that confession to the Lord. Come on. Come on. Make that confession right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on. Make that confession tonight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let not, tonight be a new night. Come on, God want to release something to you. He want to reveal something to you. Come on. Come on. Open up your mouth. Come on. Come on. Reach, 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 reach tonight. Come on. Reach, 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 reach. Come on. Reach, reach. Come on. Reach tonight. Come on. Reach tonight. Come on, reach tonight. Come on, he won't let your family fail. Come on, reach tonight. Come on, he won't let your mind fail. Come on. Come on, reach tonight. Come on, somebody needs something broken, the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody needs something broken, the Holy Ghost tonight. Come on, you've been warring. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, you've been warring. Ask God to remove it. Come on. God's gonna do it tonight. Glory to God. Come on. Come on for a few more moments. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. I dare you to reach for him tonight. Come on, I dare you to reach for him tonight. Oh, God, come on, come on, come on. There's a man that wants something. Come on, yeah, devil, come on, come on, come on. There's a man that wants a renewal. You want a refreshing? Yeah, devil, the Lord said, I got something in store for you tonight. Yeah, devil, come on, glory to God. He said, I got something in store for you tonight. Some of us are, are dealing with things that happened to us in our childhood. You are suffering for some things that has happened in your childhood. And God is saying that I want to take that thing away from you. That you don't have to live in that shadow anymore. Be free. Be healed. Be delivered. In the in the name of Jesus. Come on, I dare you to lift that. Come on, if you're ready for the release. Come on, if you're ready for the release, come on, lift your hands. Come on, if you're ready for the release, come on. Come on, the Lord said, I'm going to heal you of the hurt. I'm going to heal you of the pain. I'm going to heal you of the misunderstanding. Glory to God. I hear that You are not broken. Ooh, 
You are not broken. You don't have to go around and prove yourself to anybody else. You are who God has called you to be. Glory to God. Glory to God. There's going to be a fresh fire that's going to fall in this house. Glory to God. With no music, I want every... I want you to lift your hands and I want you to reach up and I want you to just your mouth. Come on. I want you to open up your mouth. Come on. I want you to reach up to the Lord. Come on. 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 Let it be a sound in this house. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let there be a sound. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You, you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for it. Tonight is the night. Tonight is where God enter in like never before. Come on, come on, come on. Man, we got to learn how to cry out to him. Glory. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's the sound. Come on. Come on. That's the sound of the army. Oh, come to my side. That's the sound of a righteous man. Oh, come to my side. That's the sound of a praying man. Oh, come to my Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Nobody, this is between you and Jesus. It's between you and Jesus. Come on. Come on. You ain't on no, no, no interview. This is between you and Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, heal every man tonight. He, oh God, deliver, Lord. Set free. I rebuke the trauma. In the name of Jesus. Addiction, you got to go tonight. Addiction, you got to go tonight. Pornography, you got to go tonight. Lord, I pray for pure eyes tonight. Oh, Lord, I pray for pure hands tonight. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on, go, 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 come on, come on. Oh, come on, child. Come on, don't let go until you get your healing. Don't let go until you get your breakthrough. Uh. Don't let go until you feel changed. Uh. Don't let go until you feel delivered in the name of the Lord Jesus. the proper sacrifice. Come on, he will receive it if you bring it. He will receive it if you bring it tonight. Come on, bring the sacrifice. He will receive it if you bring it tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want every man to grab another man by their hand. Oh, cold time on shot. Come on. Don't let nobody go untouched. Oh, cold time on shot. He had another man, cold time on shot. I'm more cold time. I want you to begin to pray for that hand that you hold it right now. Oh, cold time on shot. Come on, begin to pray for that person that you hold it right now. Oh, cold time on shot. 
See, the devil can't get in between us when we're together. Oh, he can't fight us when we're together. Oh, Come on, we're going to hold each other accountable. Oh, we're going to support one another. Oh, I'm going to pray for you. You're going to pray for me. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're going to see a move of God. Oh, we're going to see change. We're going to see breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Come on, you don't know what he's dealing with. You don't know what he's struggling with. Come on, pray. Glory to God. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, that man Come on, there's gonna be a provoking in the Holy Ghost like never before. Come on. Oh, God, that man We're gonna cover. We're gonna cover one another. Oh, God, that man I'm gonna share this to them. Glory to God. Amen. I'm turning back over to Elder Miller. But I'll share this with you all. I'll never forget it was several years back I was I was newly married. And I had a, a hotel job. I used to work in hospitality. And uh, it was weighing on me that I couldn't make it to the house of the Lord because I used to have to work some Sunday mornings. And it was troubling me in my heart. And I was struggling. And I never forget that it was one Saturday that we were preparing to go do some outreach. I went to the elder and I went to a deacon I said, I just need y'all to pray for me. Nobody was else there. There wasn't a crowd. But they began to lay hands on me. And I felt my strength coming back. Hear me, man. I know sometimes it's easy to try to live under the radar and act like everything is okay, act like everything is copacetic, act like you got it all together. But sometimes you need another man just to put their arms around you and say, I got you, brother. Said, I'm not going to let you struggle by yourself. I'm going to hold you. And if we got to slow walk this thing together to heaven, we're going to slow walk this thing to heaven together. Indianapolis, and Ella Miller, you're closer to it than I am. But Indianapolis has seen more killings this year than we've ever seen before. But you know what they need to see? They need to see us together. They need to see us standing by side. And if the church can be unified, I believe it will reflect in the world. God bless you. And I love you, Circle of Hope. Until next time. We love you all, in Jesus' name. Come on, you can do better than that for the word of God. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise for that divine word. My God.
God say we must prioritize our prayer time and our prayer life. I'm going to make a declaration tonight. And I, <laughs> we have to lead by example. So I'm going to make it my. I'm going to make every decision to be at this altar praying. And I ask that every man join me at this altar every time the doors are open. Not just on Sunday. Bible study, join me. I want us to be praying before service starts. It's time for us to lead by example. If we're going to lead our families into prayer, it's going to start with us leading the way. I thank God for that word. I thank God for the Give God another hand up of praise for that word. Pastor Watson, we have a small token of our appreciation for your wife as well. Yeah, we got a small, all brothers, please stand as we give a small token of our appreciation to your lovely wife. And this is your you can open it and look at this if you want. This is something that we like to present to you on behalf of our brothers here at Circle of Hope for our men's conference. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. Amen. Amen. On the behalf of our pastor, our men's department, we honor you for, for accepting the invitation to come and, and tear us up tonight. <laughs> we, we thoroughly enjoyed the word. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we will have our outreach. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be meeting at Right around the corner, we uh, the nice apartment complex. They are looking forward for us to come. They're looking forward to us to come. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna meet. We can meet here um, collectively around noon, and then we'll make our way over there, brother. And let's meet over there and get set up and all that good stuff. And then we will get started at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Come tomorrow. Expecting God is going to do something powerful during this outreach. We had several get baptized, uh, you know, get filled with the Holy Ghost, I should say, uh, last time we were here. So we're expecting a mighty move of God uh, on tomorrow. Are there any more announcements? Amen. Let's not forget to bring your clothing and all that stuff with the clothing giveaway as well tomorrow. Amen. Pastor, you got anything? Amen. Let us stand. We have last words of benediction from the speaker. Amen. Amen. Let's give God praise one more time. Amen. Circle, you guys are doing an amazing job. I'm so proud to be connected with you all. Again, if y'all do anything, y'all see us do it, don't get mad at us, okay? Because we copy y'all. Glory to God. With uplifted hands everywhere. God, we thank you tonight for your word. We thank you for this great, amen, people. We thank you for this great conference. Lord, I pray that even on tomorrow, God, as we begin to outreach, God, I pray that you just do a mighty work. God, you will go before us, God. That you begin already to, uh, ready to turn the hearts of the people, God. Hallelujah. And ready to receive what you have for them. Lord, do only what you can. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let everyone say amen. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name.